to discuss that. Okay, it's called V center, I mean V sphere agents. We know all of them already, but separately we'll discuss them here together. So the V-Center agent is called VPXT. So V-Center operating system, you have, what is the operating system inside Linux V-Center machine? Photon. Okay. Inside that, like once you deploy V-Center, if you call V-Center machine, okay. Once you deploy the V-Center application, a small service called VPXT will be installed inside the vCenter machine. It's called daemon in Linux words, we call service in Windows machine. Okay, once you install the application, VPXT daemon will be running here. Okay, service. This service is responsible for vCenter. And when vCenter application install, even laptop locoda, A application install chasna than cook service run out. Windows machine look at, like start button click chase me services look well they should there will be a lot of services every service is related to one one application Chrome could work application like okay, service under Google Chrome Google yeah okay so every application one one service will be there if you stop that service that application will not work same like when we center lo choose another you start with like vpxd service stop or pinte we send the application or go the same one we are talking about if the vpxd service is not running we send the application will not work that's what we understood we tried to directly log into os and started this service then application will work so once you install vCenter, VPXT agent will be installed here. That is called vCenter agent. It will be installed inside the vCenter. And responsible for vCenter application. The application stop by the V center application and work the other. Okay, so if this application is stopped, V center application that is V center agent, it will be inside inside the V center VPXD. Okay. <coughs> inside a physical server, normally we install ESXi operating system. Once you install ESXi operating system by default one service or daemon will be installed called host d this is responsible for esxi to esxi communication from here to here management via management port group okay. this is responsible for esxi communication host d it will be inside the esxi management agents the host d it will be installed inside the esxi okay now once you add esxi to the v center at that time 
once you add ESXi to the vCenter, at that time, an agent will be installed inside the ESXi. It's called VPXA. When the host ni vCenter add this agent install out of ESXi host. Lo. Host ID is the one who is voice install chest than a host deals. VPX and then one of the cat chest in the road. VPX is responsible for V center to host communication. This agent will be installed when you add host into V center, but it is responsible for V center and V host communication. This VPX will be sending communication to the VPXD via management network. Clear? Okay. VPXC is also called management agent. So here many people will try to confuse you what is VPXA versus VPXD. Okay. VPXD is the vCenter agent inside the yes, uh, vCenter. VPXA is vCenter agent installed inside the ESXi responsible for ESXi host and vCenter communication. All the points are very important what we are discussing now. Okay, VPXA, it is installed, it's called vCenter agent. It will be installed in the ESXi at the time of adding a host into vCenter. The VPXA is the vCenter agent. VPXD is the vCenter agent. And then Confucius. So, VPXD, where it will be located? Inside the vCenter. VPXA, where it will be located? Inside the ESXi. This e question we will add to that. VPXD, where it will be located? Inside the ESXi. XA, where it will XD, where it will be located? In my nervous law, the confusion is different wrong steps. D in vCenter, A in ESXi. Blindly remember that. Okay? So VPXA, vCenter agent installed inside the ESXi and responsible for host and vCenter communication. If you stop the VPXA, a service in a stop chest, manaki host disconnect type of vCenter branch. This we are going to discuss tomorrow, how to solve that host and vCenter communication. That's why it's important you need to understand. If you see ESXi in any disconnected state, We had many other hosts, right? Like this not responding state. VPX is stop IP in that how host lo live with host may be running. ESXi may be up and running fine, no issues. VM is also running. Only the VPX is stopped working. Then we will lose connection with vCenter. Now via ESI party connect to the ESXi, start this service. Then it will connect again. That we will see tomorrow anyway, not worries. This is called, these two are called management agents. They will be running inside the ESXi. Now you tell me, I have a cluster. If I enable HA, what is the name of the agent? It will be installed. If I enable HA, what is the name of the agent? It will be installed. It will be installed inside vCenter or ESXi? HA, high availability. Anyone from remote? Question. Sorry? Repeat the question, sir. FDM. Fault domain manager, it will be installed in every host in the cluster. Fault domain manager, yes, FDM, it will be installed in every ESXi in the cluster. Okay, so it's called HA agent that we are aware. FDM installed inside the ESXi when we enable HA on the cluster and it is responsible for HA heartbeat. Okay. 
is responsible for heartbeat. It will be installed inside the ESP. These are the some agents or services we need to understand, like vCenter agent, ESXi management agent, and HA agent. Clear? Any question? Sir? Yes? Recenter agent and VPX agent, you can install the OS and install the OS. When you install vCenter OS or application,